Good morning, fellow mathematicians. It's me, the guy with the ridiculous sounding username again. <laughs> Before we get started, I just want to thank all of you for your amazing support. You were subscribing to me and you left comments and you watched my videos and it has been amazing the last few days. So thank you very, very much. And also a big thank you to Dr. Payam and Blackpin Redpin for supporting me this much and for being so kind to me. So that's amazing of you. And I will post more English videos in the next time. I'm going to concentrate on English videos in the next time because I want to make English versions of every German video I already posted, but it will take a few days or weeks because I already posted so many videos. So with that out of the way, let's get started with today's topic. In today's video, we are going to take a look at the symmetric integral from minus pi half to pi over 2 of cosine of x over e to the 1 over x plus 1 in terms of x. Okay, that looks absolutely terrible. That looks completely unsolvable because we got this exponential function with the weird exponent and a cosine and that just looks fucking ridiculous. But trust me, we are going to destroy this bad boy. Um, I call this integral i of x because I'm doing this all the time. And all we need to solve this integral is one little thing I already explained. It's how to split every function into the sum of an odd and even function. If you don't know what I'm talking about, just look in the description and there will be a link to the corresponding video down there. Let's solve this now. So i of x, we just said that we want to split this up. So we already derived the formula, so we can use what we already derived. So i of x is nothing else than i of x plus i of minus x over 2 plus i of x minus i of minus x over 2. Okay, what can we conclude now? So we already know that this is an even function. And this is indeed an odd function. And at this point we can already simplify this a lot because, hmm, what did I say in the beginning? Yeah, we are dealing with a symmetric integral. So that means if you have an odd integrand over a symmetric integral, this just fades away, this, this vanishes completely. So we are dealing with a zero right here. So this becomes zero and that's good, I guess. So that's a zero, and what we end up with is just i of x plus i of minus x over 2. But it doesn't look much simpler because we've got two integrals now. But let's just write it out and then we will see if we can simplify anymore. So let's go ahead. That's one half times, I just factored the one half out. So that's one half times the integral. of this integral in terms of x. So that's the cosine of x divided by all this chunk. Okay, and times the x. And now plus i of minus x. And now we only have to plug in minus x into all the x's here. So that's plus the integral from minus pi over 2 to pi over 2 of cosine of minus x divided by e to the minus 1 over x plus 1 dx. Okay, so far so good. What can we do next? Here's one crucial observation. So, as you might know, the cosine is an even function. What does it mean for the cosine to be even? Well, cosine of minus x just equals cosine of x. So, we can factor out this cosine of x. One other thing we can do is, well, we are dealing with the same boundaries and so we can put those together, those two integrals. We can add them together because of the linearity of the integral. So all in all, what we end up with is 1 half times the integral from minus pi over 2 to pi over 2 of cosine of x times. Okay, what do we have? Well, we just have those two rational functions. So let's just write them down. Plus 1 over e to the minus 1 over x plus 1 times dx. Okay. Hmm. What could we do next? Yeah, maybe we could add those together and see what we get. So 
that's the simplest thing we could do right now. So that's one half times the integral of minus pi over two to pi over two of cosine of x times. So what do we get? Yeah, um, what do we get? It's e to the minus one over x plus one plus e to the one over x plus one divided by um, those two multiplied together. So that's e to the one over x plus one times e to the minus one over x plus one. And all of this times dx. Hmm. What else? Well, let's distribute this fa uh, factor into this term. So let's go ahead and see what we get. Let's go ahead and distribute. So that's just one half times the integral from minus pi over two to pi over two of cosine of x times, okay, at first we have the numerator. So this stays the same. Okay, but what is the denominator now? So we have to multiply those two together. So it's e to the one over x times e to the minus one over x. Okay, now we have e to the one over x plus one. So that's just e to the one over x. Okay, now we have one plus one. So that's just one, not one plus one. Pl uh, we have one um, multiplied by one and one multiplied by e to the minus one over x. So that's just e to the minus one over x times dx. Okay, the last thing you might see is that, well, those two cancel each other out. So this becomes a one because e to the one over x times e to the minus one over x is just e to the one over x minus one over x and that's e to the zero. So that's a one. And what you might notice is when this becomes a one, well, the numerator is the same as the denominator. So all of this cancels out. So what we are left with is just one half times the integral from minus pi over two to pi over two of cosine of x times dx. And certainly we know how to integrate this. So let's go ahead and integrate this and then we are done. So that's the sine of x from minus pi over two to pi over two. And now we can plug those values in. So sine of pi over two, we go this way. So, well, that's just one. And if we go the other route, so that becomes one and that becomes minus one. So what we end up with is one half times one minus minus one. This becomes one plus one. So that's a two and two times one half is just one. And by God, that's the solution. We've done it. So this terrible thing turns out to be one. <laughs> Isn't that amazing? It's, it's fucking cool in my opinion. I, I love this integral. It's, it's just so cool. And we were able to destroy this bad boy. We are so good. Yeah. Um, if you like this integral and if you like this video, then leave a comment, subscribe and recommend me if you like. Um, I would love to get some more support. And yeah, thank you a lot for watching and see you in the next video. Have a nice day. Goodbye. Akiro wird gleich wieder spielen. Hm, super, Anton.